Hello, hello, welcome back to Tabby Sims. I'm Tabby, if you do not know, and today is a bit of a bonus episode in our Rags to Ranch Riches challenge. I'm gonna go into the world and make some changes. I'm gonna give Paul Sigworth his own home, uh, maybe a girlfriend, uh, so he can have a happy life all of his own, move him out of our family home, because at the minute he stands to inherit this house and all of the money from our first Rags to Riches challenge, and move Arwen Alloway and her family into that house so it stays within our family, basically. I'm also going to create a tiny home on another ranch lot in Chestnut Ridge because I'm going to move Belladonna next episode. I need to speed up the horse skills and the quickest way to do that is living in a tiny home. So instead of like demolishing what we already have, I'm going to move to a different area of Chestnut Ridge, you know, see a bit more of the pack and we're going to live in a tiny home on a new ranch. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. Uh, let's dive into some gameplay. Okay, so first things first, we are going to get Paul... Mm. Maybe the best way to do this is to go get Arwen and her family and take them to that house and then move Paul out just so that we don't mess with the money. We could do a straight house swap. Paul can come and live in this house in San Sequoia. Um, it's a really nice house. We'll leave it furnished and everything and we'll we'll make him a girlfriend, maybe give him a baby. And maybe that's the story we tell that Belladonna wasn't ready to settle down and Paul was. And that's why... Uh, I mean, he's only just become a young adult. He was a teenager for a really long time. Um, but hey, you know, maybe that's it. Oh, is this... Emily is a child now. Oh, that's exciting. And oh, so is Catherine. Oh, so is Lottie. They're all children. Oh, that's exciting. Okay, Arwen, where are you? Let's move household. And Arwen has quite a lot of money already because I gave her that from the family funds. So let's move in. Uh, we're going to move in with Paul and then we're going to move Paul out on his own. Oh, keep furniture or sell furniture? Well, I kind of wanted to leave it furnished for him, but I guess I can't do that. So let's sell furniture because we don't, we don't need it. Is this house set up for three children? Let's have a, a look up here. We've got a baby room, we've got one child's room, and then this was Nori and Kurt's room, um, and this was gonna be Bella Donna's room. So let's assign the left side of the bed to Owen, assign the right side of the bed to Diamond. Awkwardly, there is a picture of Belladonna and Paul here. So maybe we put that in Paul's inventory. <laughs> and I think that is Belladonna's birth certificate, but um, that's fine. And like they're Belladonna's scouting trophies. Again, doesn't really matter. This is Nori and Kurt's marriage certificate. Isn't that so sweet? Maybe we move that. Well, let's put it in Arwen's inventory for now. And then maybe we just put it downstairs or something. Let's turn this baby room into a room for children and then we'll leave that other room as a double bedded room but I'm not going to get rid of any of this stuff I'm just going to put it all in my inventory I don't see us playing in this house again but you never know you never know because two of those children were twins weren't they so it would make sense if they shared a room we could just have them in bunk beds over here couldn't we oh gosh all the crap that comes from the other house Who's this? Oh, that was Kurt's first death. But then he came back to life and, ooh, none of these lot have any gardening skills. So we'll need Apache again um, to help with the garden. We'll just keep the room green. I'm not going to do a big makeover. I mean, maybe we just do these white ones because there isn't really any that suit the aesthetic, is there? Or maybe we change the aesthetic. Okay, I said I wasn't going to do this, but let's do it. Let's have nice pink beds. And we'll just do, yeah, that's fine. Can this bathroom change to pink? Oh, it can. Love that. This one has a purple swatch. This one has pinky swatch. Cool. Um, okay, what else would kids need? Let's go into kids' bedroom. So we have an activity table in that room, uh, a blarfy. There's a science table there. Maybe these kids can have their own computer. Give them a violin, put a journal on the floor. And then where are those cushions? Let's put some little cushion seats down. I wonder if this um, doll's house works when it's sized down. If it does, let's put the violin in the corner. Can the diary go on the desk anywhere? There. Okay, nice. This 
in this corner and a bookcase maybe on the other side. That'll be fine. We're not really going to be playing this family. I just want there to always be enough beds for <laughs> the people that live in the house. And then into live mode. So who are the twins? Okay, Lottie is the older one. So Lottie can have her own room. It's Lottie's. And then the other two can have this shared room. So that one's for Catherine. And this bed is for Emily. Okay, how old's Arwen? Arwen is going to be an adult in eight days. And what about Diamond? Oh, Diamond's already an adult. So now it's time to move Paul. Uh, Paul is a Sigworth. Let him go with 100,000 because... Um, We've got plenty, like it's fine. We can set Paul up with a good life. Yeah, Paul's a Sigworth, so I wonder if his family is still around or if there was a Sigworth home he could move back to. He was a game NPC. I stole him from somewhere, so I think he was new. Let's go to San Sequoia. Hmm, maybe not, you know. I'm not sure where the Sigworths came from. Um, I mean, that place is 97,000 for a two bed. I don't think that's very good value for money. Sequoia Cottage is a four bed for 21,000. Let's move into here and let's set it. Oh yeah, we'll buy it furnished, perfect. And then we'll set it up for Paul to have a kid. Oh, I've played in this house. Upstairs, there's two kids bedrooms. There's a baby bedroom here and then obviously the adult bedroom here. So what I'm gonna do is just cheat all of this. I'm gonna go into create a sim and I'm gonna create Paul a wife and a baby. Add sim, add a new sim. How do you randomize like that? Oh, okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. This is Paul's wife. Let's just style her looks a little bit. Oh, there we go. I feel like she looks like quite an eclectic. She's got like llama earrings pen behind her ear, I think this works. That's her hair when it's down, that's fine. Wow, that's a lot. I mean, let's get rid of those accessories. Maybe a party outfit, because she might come to a party that Belladonna throws with Paul. What do we think in like her eclectic kind of cottagey vibe? Oh, that might work. Just not with the weird hat, and she can have her hair down. Oh, this is a new hair that came with a game update, but that doesn't really suit her, because her hair was straight. Let me just give her hot weather. She cannot have the same outfit as Belladonna. Oh, what was that one? That was very her. Let's try this one. Yeah, like it. This, maybe she'd have a lighter. Yeah, that one's nicer. Okay, hello, my name is Talia. My name is Lillian Burke. Well, you're gonna be Sigworth actually. So let's just change that. And let's just go really traditional. She um, wants to be a super parent because this is what we're saying, that Paul went off. Um, let's just randomize these. Uh, well, ugh. My problem is I'm like, let's just randomize. And then when they don't make sense to the character, it really annoys me. Can I randomize till they make sense? There we go. Family orientated, she can be clumsy. And she can like animals because she's got llama earrings. I can't quite remember how I make them husband and wife. Um, let's play with genetics anyway. Okay, and add Lillian. Let's make an infant and then you just randomize daughter. Yeah? I mean, should do the same. One, two, three, four, five. That is Paul's daughter. They need a name. First name, Camille. Cute, randomize the trait. Sunny, oh, that's nice. And let's just pick a little cute outfit for Sunny. I don't think Sunny needs glasses though. Oh, I like this one. Yeah, that's cute. Okay, and that is their family, but I've not selected, I've not made them husband and wife. How do I do it? Oh, here, okay. So relationships, husband, there we go. Family dynamic, jokesters. Family dynamic with Camille, he's gonna be very close to Camille because he really wanted a child. Okay, and then this is their home. So the family are in, isn't that nice? Well, Paul, we are very happy for you and your wife and your new baby. We hope you have a very happy life. Let's now save and go to Manage Worlds. Now we'll do Belladonna's tiny home. 
So back to Chestnut Ridge, I'm going to go up here into Galloping Gulch, lauded as one of the go-to regions for horse riding. The gulch is chock full of gorgeous trails and stunning outlooks. Explore the gulch's wonders as you honour the noble horses that have passed on at Steed's Rest. Explore the perilous dread horse caverns or enjoy time under the stars at Saddle Summit Campgrounds. How much money do we have? How much are we worth? Uh, 6,300, but that's not how much we're worth, is it? Uh, if, I go into, if I go into build on our lot, it'll tell me how much, how many funds we have. We also do have about 10 grand's worth of nectar ready to sell. So I could just, I was trying to wait for the nectar man, but maybe we could just sell it. Um, oh, 18,658. Okay, so if I try to work towards 18,000, I think that is a good number. I, we're making a tiny home, so I can't imagine it being much more than that. This lot is currently 19,492 with the structure on it as it is. So let's go have a little look. Okay. Okay, um, so this is a really lovely lot. It has a pond, got some barrels and some jumps just there, but I think, oh, and it has barrels and jumps on it. I think I'm gonna leave barrels and jumps. Oh, there's barrels there as well, barrels everywhere. Um, just because we can then train on our tiny home lot. Um, lots of greenery, it's very nice. I'm just gonna get rid of this tree so that I can see a bit more what I'm doing. It's already got a stable set up there for butterscotch. And you know what? Let's just take the hammer to this. Bam, bam, bam. We will want a, what do you call it? Nothing to delete. Oh. We will want a, oh, maybe what I could have just done is click, click to bulldoze the lot. <gasps> no, <laughs> that isn't what I wanted to do. Oh, and you can't undo it. No. Do you want to leave this mode? Yeah, but, oh no, I've ruined it. What an idiot. Okay, well then. Let's bulldoze the whole lot. Oh, I can't, hold on. Bulldoze everything. And maybe let's just go into the gallery and see about Pamino Junction. Can I re-download it? Palomino, tiny home. This one looks like it's got all the original landscaping and they've made a little tiny home on it. So let's download that and then we'll work off that. What a plonker. Place. Place it furnished, yeah, why not? Oh, they've got two stables, which, um, I mean, we don't really need because we're letting our goats and sheeps just roam around, aren't we? Or maybe now we decide to put the goats and sheeps in somewhere. Um, oh, this comes with a goat. I got rid of that tree, but maybe I just moved the tree over here. Here's the tiny home they made. And actually, I don't know, I should have checked who the person was. Nord Sea Wind 84. Thank you very much, Nord Sea Wind 84. Okay, this is a good start, but we're gonna have our own furniture. So I think we should make this unfurnished and then we should add to it. We're gonna go down the dark wood aesthetic like our previous home. So I can I can do that whilst we're here, can't I? Let's put it let's put the ranch into daylight. In a way, this tiny home is gonna be an upgrade because look, it's got like a nicer door, it's got nicer windows. Ooh, we need to add a cellar for our nectar. Maybe we make an outdoor nectar making area uh, and then we can have the cellar below that because I don't think that counts in our tiles. I think before we had horizontal planks didn't we? But let's have the nice log sliding side bit I could have in brick just for something a little bit different but it would be a dark brick wouldn't it? Or oh, maybe I use this cottage living one in a dark swatch. There we go. Okay, and then what was the roof saying? Ooh, not a lot. Now I am not very good at roofing, um, but why don't we? Because I want there to be this outdoor nectar making section, and then that goes there. So that should probably come here. No, that does not make any sense. You've got to make the roofs make sense. <laughs> Maybe if I change the roofing to look a bit more rustic. Yeah, and I want these to have the same roof. If we get these there. Now that's like an undercover bit that makes sense. They don't really make sense of a lap like that, do they? But that's as low down as it would go. That could come up a little bit. 
yeah you just absolutely wouldn't have roofing like that would you so i've just recreated the same thing with two separate pieces it just doesn't look as jarring i don't think or maybe it does, maybe you lot will be like, it looks the exact same, Tabby. If you are new to my channel, I do not claim to be a builder any respect. Like, I am terrible at building. Okay, that's just, I'm gonna have to stop with roofing, but actually what I think I should do is change the side to like a metal sheeting so that you know it's an add-on. So it's not trying to look like the roof, right? It's an add-on for where we do our nectar making. So let's do that. Um, I think that looks good. And can I change these to a different color as well? Yes. I'm much happier with that, that makes sense. Let's just move this out of the way. In this ranch, I want us to have um, one of the gates. Is that what they're called? The big ranch gate. A ranch arch, maybe? Where are, ah, these. Okay, so you can either have this one or you can have this one with a stone base. I think I want this one in a dark, yeah, in a dark wood. So you'd, it'd make sense for it to line up. There we go, nice. I mean, we could have fencing all around, but I think that'll end up being expensive. So let's not do that just yet. Um, and our mailbox, this one from werewolves can go at the front of the lot as well i know i said i'd stop with roofing but could we have this around the front as well i mean that looks pretty messy doesn't it you wouldn't no one would live like that just because i'm thinking of like more undercover areas that we can put plants but i guess we don't i don't know i don't know how much we really need the undercover areas for the plants we could just make a separate greenhouse actually oh no that would count towards our tile count wouldn't it Mm, okay, I'm just gonna leave it like that. But what I am gonna do is put a ladder. Oh, I've gotta make the basement first, haven't I? I'm gonna put a ladder down here um, so that we, to our cellar. Okay, okay, let's, maybe we put like a little plant like this just here. Although I wonder if we're even gonna be able to get down there because the game can be funny about things like that, can't it? Yeah, and it's kind of hidden then. I don't know if these count. Oh, they do. Oh, okay, hold on. So that all counts towards the total. Oh, so I've pushed myself into a tier two tiny home by creating a basement. Hmm. How small can I make this basement then? Okay, this will be fine. All we need it for is aging nectar, right? There we go. It's literally just a little brick box. And then up here, I mean, this bathroom's a bit of a weird sh Maybe I lose the three tiles off this side. Lose that there. Okay, I need to lose one tile space. So let's take it from the basement. That makes the most sense. I think I'm gonna leave this as Butterscotch's bed. And then I'm gonna get rid of this one. I mean, what about, how much am I on? 14,000, I guess I don't need to get rid of it. Maybe I'll keep it just in case I get a second horse. Oh, the people that had this before have gotten rid of the jumps. Um, so maybe I put them back in the middle. I haven't bought any yet, so I can buy them as part of this build. These vintage horse jumps can go there and then the barrel racing can go here maybe put a few patches of prairie grass around because i'm not sure if this lot has any oh yeah there is one there but hey no harm in having more and um, so we've got a water trough we've got a hay feeder we've got hay feeder over there that's fine oh i guess that's why this water trough was on the outside so let's put it back and we're going to bring our chickens with us. Okay, I'm happy with this. Let's go get Belladonna and we're going to move her in and furnish it with our furnishings now. So move household. Oh, why can't we buy that? Oh, funds 12,966. Hmm. Cancel. <laughs> Let's sell some of that nectar that we've got in our inventory. I know we wanted to sell, sell it to Mr. Nectar Man, but um, if we sell it, we can definitely afford it go for the more expensive ones which is this energy nectar potato nectar prairie grass nectar is that enough do we think maybe i'll sell this apple nectar just in case there we go we should be fine now take two <laughs> yes okay perfect we can very much afford that um we are going to keep our furniture and we are going to move in to this lot furnished 
The following items were returned to your Sims inventory. Pongo, Billy and Coco. Nice. Ooh, it's a bit foggy today. It's foggy up here on uh, Palomino something or other. Okay, straight into build mode. Let's furnish this tiny home. So we've got some things here. Oh, we already have spinach. Oh, I mean, that's a bit of a cheat, but I'm just going to keep it. Screw it. Carrot, carrot, carrot. Okay, you know what, I'll get rid of the carrot plants. If it had been um, if it had been death flowers and spinach, that would have been an absolute cheat because, uh, oh, we'll just get rid of that. We've paid for it ultimately by buying the lot, so us selling these things is fine. Uh, this one, Lily, came with the lot and I feel like we should keep her as like we fostered this lost sheep. First things first is lights. So what, we had candelabras in the other place, didn't we? They must be in here somewhere. Here they are. There's one and there's one. Oh, and one is for the cellar. Uh, I don't really like that brick. I might have to change that brick at some point. I'm trying to think how they had it laid out. I know the kitchen was around here and it had a dining room. I'll have to get a single bed, I reckon, and have a bed and then maybe I could have the fire and stuff here. We don't watch TV. Like, we've never sat at any point and been like, shall we watch TV, have we? Oh, maybe. Can this go on this wall? Yeah, like that. But if we put a chair there, would that be too close to it? Like, who would sit on top of a fire like that? Well, maybe we would because we haven't really got a choice. Or maybe we move that down one and that is now our little chill area. <laughs> So then kitchen in this little corner here. I mean, it is meant to be a lot smaller. Like that is the point. Let's put the oven there. So I can't put the oven in the fridge next to each other. That doesn't make sense to have hot and cold next to each other. Where is the fridge? Where is it hiding? Wait a minute. Where is my fridge? I haven't brought my, fr oh, it's here. It's cause it's black. I'm looking, in my head I was looking for a red fridge quite a lot of space actually maybe move that over let's move this here oh uh, the stove hood is <laughs> is a bit burnt so let's get rid of that oh that was a bit of a cheat because i shouldn't have got money for that and let's buy a new stove hood do we do that i think we're just gonna do that in terms of cupboards so we're gonna get rid of that window and read and copy that window there so we do have a little bit of a cupboard sink Put our dining chairs down. Maybe we don't put a second chair down at the minute because we're quite tight on space. So maybe we do like that. And then that's almost like a little side table for when we're chilling in front of the fire. Put that rug right across the middle. Hmm, this is a weird shaped bathroom. How do I make, oh, I make it work by doing that. I think. I don't have a bin in here though, but maybe we just have a trash can outside again. And I don't think we had a bin in the last place. This is my bedroom, this teeny little bit. Um, we might as well, you know, sell this bed because it's really uncomfortable. So we'll never buy that bed again. Like we don't want such an uncomfortable bed. Get rid of that water trough and these hay feeders because we already have them in this lot. We had this framed photo in our bedroom so we can put that back up again and we're gonna get a single bed for just there. Is there a ranch single bed? Yes, there is. The Cormac Pine single bed. There we go. Fits with the red theme. And then we have to put down our side table with our picture of us and our snow friend. Yay. <laughs> okay, I think that's pretty much everything. Oh, we can sell that ball because we rebought a ball. Random ashes in our inventory. Um, random plate. I don't know where that comes from. We don't need this workers lunch pack up anymore. Um, let's place Pongo, Billy and Coco along with their new friend Lily. Got a mirror here. So let's put that there. Our nectar making station is gonna be outside now. And I've got these little lamps. Where have they gone? Oh, oh we want this one to be gold and black. Again, we can delete these because we've got duplicates now. Move our little fire pit closer to the lake. I think in the original design, it's closer to the lake. And we're gonna add our little wooden bench there that was in our other home. Get rid of horse bed. Let's go down to the cellar. See what's the best way to stack these three wide there okay that's good i wonder how tall you can stack them as well can you go you can get three upwards 
Maybe, can you? Yeah, okay, that's good. Could still have our decorative barrel. <laughs> or our decorative mops and buckets. No, you can't, they won't fit. I might just um, stack three more of those. So we are stacked very, very high. And let's just make them all a dark wood. Okay, up here is like the gardening section. So I'm gonna put the chickens here as well and the bees can go here kind of i think that's why the original design had them as well like amongst this greenery there we go outside there should be maybe we'll put it here this like these tools and then is that under cover yes so let's put some individual planters back here so that they can be under cover switch these up as well so it's a bit more mismatched and then we've got these four beds but I guess we don't really need them for now I won't delete them I'll just leave them there let's put our plantain down our lemon tree and have we got one apple tree or two? Oh yeah we do they're all here we've got three apple trees we'll just have one of each we don't need lots and lots of different trees sell those too chickens are going down over in their little chicken coopy coop um let's put four grapevines down i think we've got enough stuff to be making nectar with as it is so it's not like super important that we have a okay, sage bush with a spinach it's not really important that we have plants under cover anymore it's just when you're getting started that you really need them is there anywhere in here that we can have this oh yeah we can have it on our table maybe and let's put our medals well we don't have a lot of wall space so they're just gonna have to go here there and everywhere aren't they let's start with putting them here uh, we've got mum and dad. Should mum and dad be... Maybe they should be here. Oh, that disappeared. What if I go into live mode? Do they reappear? No. Why have I just lost my parents' tombstones? That's frustrating. Maybe when I exit the game and reload, they'll suddenly appear. Um, do we have anywhere that these curtains can go? Oh, yeah, there you go. But we need to change the colour because green doesn't work anymore. Black it is. Black it is. I think we did pretty well fitting everything we own onto this size lot. That is an excellent effort, I think. Okay, and then just to test, where's butterscotch? Okay, we're gonna encourage training. We're confident, we're gonna make butterscotch confident and then we're gonna have a little test of tiny home and see how quickly our skill increases butterscotch can feel belladonna's passion and resolve to give it a roll when training okay so let's mount you then butterscotch and let's head over and intensely train on horse jumps oh i already jumped oh okay <laughs> it already jumped just when she was stood still so this is like quarter past seven let's see how long it takes to get to the i mean that's going so fast uh, don't forget you have an animal in a sims inventory who's pretty happy oh i thought i'd got them out now place in world place in world place in world we've been going an hour and we've nearly increased a skill point butterscotch has reached jumping level five sims will now be able to complement jumps on butterscotch butterscotch can also practice advanced jumps on the horse jumps uh, that have had advanced jumping rails added which will increase jumping skill but um also fatigue her more quickly overall butterscotch will perform better when using this training object now yeah that's bonkers that's really really fast so um yay all of this was worth it thank you for watching i'm gonna end this bonus part here and um, i'm very excited now to just hammer the horse riding skills and just enter as many competitions as possible and with our tiny home skill gain i think that will be really easy please do subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you again very very soon bye